Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a video. Got Christmas all done and everything. It seems like I've been putting stuff away for ages. So I wanted to get in and get a um, Valentine's project for you. Um, so we're going to be making this little box today. Um, it's really cute. It's made with the Lots of Love box in the new catalog. This has a matching stamp set, Sure Do Love You, and you can get this in the catalog right now um, as a bundle and save 10%. All right, so I don't know if you can really see it or not, but these, uh, this box will hold 10 of the nuggets. So I have covered these little nuggets with the same designer series paper, and I'm going to show you how to do that also. And 10 of those fit in this box. So um, this is a good good size, nice box. Um, and you could put a sheet of um, white cardstock on the back if you wanted with a to and from on it. Um, but all right, let's go ahead and get started. So um, I'm using the designer series paper that is in the new celebrations catalog let me get that if you need a catalog and a celebrations uh, brochure and you don't already have a demonstrator I would be happy to send you one um, if you just uh, message me or leave me your email address stating that you want to uh, catalog I'd be happy to send you one um, so this is the paper that we're using. It's called Bubbles and Fizz, and it coordinates with a set of, from the um, New Occasions catalog that is Bubble Over Bundle. So it's got some pop bottles and some fizz, and it's really cute. That was one of my first purchases that um, from the other catalog. But it's got a lot, a lot of um, good things in the catalog. There's some uh, ribbon, that's going to match the designer series paper. I love this peacock. And then this is um, a flower that's really cute. Um, it it kind of looks like a photograph. It's, it's really neat. Um, and then the other one I'm sure that you have seen are the little party pandas. They are so cute. Um, so the other thing that is kind of cool in this um, celebration time is bigger stamp sets and thinlets. You can, for every, so for every $50 that you spend, you can get something free from this part of the catalog. For every $100 that you spend, you can get these framelets or this stamp set. So there's two things for $100, and then there's quite a few for $50 that you can get for free um, when you uh, purchase out of the Occasions catalog or out of the big catalog. It doesn't matter, either one. All right, so this paper, again, was called Bubbles and Fizz, and it has a nice um, pattern for Valentine's Day in it um, with Calypso Coral. I'm not... I like Clipso Coral, but I'd rather do real red or pink for Valentine's Day. Um, but unfortunately, we are going with Clipso Coral. All right, so to make the box, you're going to need two of the box thinlets. Let me get my big shot in here. These pieces of paper measure um, two or four and a half. And then they just measure eight and a half, but you don't need it to be quite that long. I just didn't bother to cut it because that was just an, an extra step. So I just thought I'd leave them. And then it just goes in my scrap bin. Make sure that I got this all the way down at the bottom here. And you're going to need two of these. There's that one, and then you're going to need one more. All 
right. Get this out of the way for a second. We'll be bringing that back in in a moment. All right. So this box does your scoring and your cutting for you. So it's got a couple score lines right here. And then for the tabs and the top or the bottom of the box. get a nice crease on here. box you're going to need a piece of the bubbles and fizz designer series paper and that's going to be cut at four and five eighths by two and three quarters okay and you just want to make sure that you're, if you have a um, directional paper like this one is, that you cut it the correct way. All right, so I'm going to put some fast fuse at the edge, the very edge of this designer series paper. You do not want to put it in the middle. And then that can go on one of the pieces. It doesn't matter which one. Got something on that one. I don't know if it's from the paper or what, but I'm going to put that on the back. So this can go in the middle of the fold lines, score lines, right like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take the largest heart from this set, bring my big shot back in. front of my box in. Make sure that that is at the top. I'm going to put this um, probably so it's about an inch from the top and in the middle here and here and that's probably about an inch and a half from the bottom. And we will roll that through. cut out our window for our box and then you'll have two hearts that you can use for another project. You're going to need a piece of acetate. Where did I put it? Of course it's see-through so what did I do with it? All right. I'm sure that's probably stuck on something. All right, I'm going to have to put you on hold for a second. All right. So, piece of acetate. We sell these um, in my store. And this measures two and a half by three and a fourth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fast fuse, make sure that this sticks, and just put it along the edge of my acetate. And then this is going to go. right here over my heart. 
Okay. All right. So now to finish off the box, this part of the box needs to be up. This part of the box needs to be down. You're going to take your fast fuse or your sticky strip or your tear and tape, whichever one that you would like to use. And I'm going to put that right up to the edge of the fold there. And try not to go over where the fold, where the uh, tab is right here. You're going to take this part of the box and put that right up to the edge there. All right. Now you're going to take this and you're going to fold that flat. And then this is just going to fold over onto this side of the box right there. All right. So now you have a box. Fold your tabs in, close the box up, and now you can fill it with whatever you're going to fill it with. I'm going to fill it with the chocolates. And like I said, it puts you can put 10 in there, and I have made eight of them, so you don't have to sit here and watch me make all of them. But I thought I'd show you how I did a couple. You're going to need 10 pieces of the same designer series paper, and these measure one by two and three quarters. And I just use my mini glue dots. And I put a mini glue dot on each end. And then just wrap that right around the chocolate. And this is gonna be a very snug fit there's about a sixteenth of an inch that, it, or yeah, sixteenth of an inch that it over overlaps there. So I will show you that again. Mini glue dot on each end. And then just wrap that right around. And I like these chocolates. Um, not only for the flavor, but for these pack, this package is rose gold. So that's really in right now. All right. So now you can take these and you're just going to try and do this as carefully as possible. Just because there is enough wiggle room in here that it's probably got about a fourth of an inch gap. So they are going to wiggle a little bit. But once you get all ten in there, it will be good. All right, am I missing one? Seems like I am missing one. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. All right, there it is. So you will get 10 in this box here. All right, then you just take those, fold that over, and there you go. All right, I'm gonna take a piece of uh, Whisper White and my Calypso Coral ink pad. The sentiment from the Sure Do Love You is right here. I'm going to take that and ink that up. Hopefully I have enough room on this piece of paper here. And this uh, stamp is meant to be distressed looking so it is not going to be a perfect image I'm not sure if i have enough room on this piece of paper here we will see i may have to get another one well we're gonna go for it and then 
can take the banner from that stamp set. Big shot back in here. These are just my samples, so they don't need to be perfect for me anyway. Although that is missing quite a bit, but we'll see what it looks like. <clears throat> Probably after the video, I'll stamp another one and just put it on there. So then I'm going to take a couple more glue dots. This is a very glue dot friendly project. And put a glue dot right there. And then that can go right in the middle here. Then for ribbon, I am using the Whisper White uh, Classic Weave Ribbon. And I want these edges to make sure that they stay closed. So that's why I'm wrapping it around this way. You could wrap it around the other way and, or just put a bow right up the top. But this way, um, the ends close. This is going to be my ribbon cutting scissors. And there is about, oh, about 21 inches here. All right. So. a bow my TV just turned on all by itself there all right so I'm just gonna pull these to make them a little quite so big. this up a little bit there we go and you can put that up there just like that and I do believe that that is it so there you have it um, like I said you could always um, put a to and from on the back um, or you could take one of the hearts that you just cut out put to and from in there with a hole and um, attach it right like that however you would like to do that so all supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net thanks for watching and have a great day bye